Hello and welcome to Quick Tips, the free website design course, video number 8. In the last video, we discussed about search engine optimization. That was just an introduction to SEO. And I'll be having a separate video series on search engine optimization very soon. In this video, we will discuss about local SEO and Google My Business account setup. At this point, you are able to design a website for your own business or you may have started your own website design business and you might be designing websites for local business owners. In both the cases, you must work on local SEO to improve your website ranking in Google search local pack. You can also add local SEO as an additional offer to your client and earn some extra money. So let's start with the video. Those who are watching this video for the first time, check out the playlist of my completely free website design course on my YouTube channel. It's a completely free, in-depth website design course for beginners, the business owners, and those who want to start a career in website designing. And do not forget to subscribe to my channel for upcoming new free online courses. Now let's see what is local SEO. I believe that you must have seen some search results when you look for a shop or service nearby your area. What you mostly see at the top section of this kind of search results, you will see Google map with local businesses listed in your nearby area. This area of search results is called as Google local pack and ranking your business in this local pack is called as local SEO. Now local SEO is a search engine optimization strategy that helps your business be more visible in these local search results on Google. Any business that has a physical location or serves a geographical area can benefit from local SEO. Now local SEO is uh, different than organic SEO. In the local SEO, your main focus will be on listing your website in Google local pack. Now this doesn't mean that you do not need to work on organic SEO. You definitely have to work on on-page, off-page and technical SEO as we discussed in the last video. You definitely have to build links to your website. Now let's look at the list of ranking factors considered to improve your local business SEO rankings. The first ranking factor is Google My Business which is more than 25%. The second signal is Link Signal which is more than 16% review signal which is more than 15%, on-page signals more than 13% and citation signal more than 10%. Now you can clearly see that Google My Business, reviews and citation are the most important factors and different than organic SEO. What is citation? Citation is nothing but the listing of your website in different business directories like Google My Business, Yelp, Yellow Pages and other business directories. These are not actually the backlinks to your website, but citation is just the mention about your business name, address and phone number on different websites. Here is how you can start working on local SEO. The first point comes create and validate Google My Business account. Google My Business is a free account where you can list your local business on Google directory. Make sure that you have a proper local address and not the PO box number. PO box address are not allowed in Google My Business. I will show you how to create Google My Business account in the next section of this video. The second point, start listing your website in as many local business directories as possible. Make sure that you are going to use the same local address, the same phone number and the same business name all over the places. Do not make mistake with name, address and phone that is called as NAP. It should be exactly same on all the business directories. Refer to your Google My Business account and use the same data on all the business directories. Now you need to find the list of business directories in your area. You can search on Google and you will see the list of business directories and you start mentioning your business on these directories. You will need to create account on these uh, business directories and submit your business on these directories. The third step is gather as many reviews as possible. Ask your clients and customer to leave feedback or review on Google reviews. 
this will also help you improve your business ranking in local pack you can see that there is a weightage to reviews also now the fourth step is create business account on social media share your website and post on all the social media platforms that will help you gather reviews also now we are going to set up google my business account okay let's go to google and search for google my business account let's go to login now this is the link google my business click on it and it will ask you to log in so log into your google account okay this is how you are going to see the screen so you need to enter the name of the business here i'm going to enter my business name here and this is just for the demo purpose okay now create a business with this name uh, let's add the category i'm going to add web designer and click next okay do you want to add a location customers can visit obviously if you are using google my business for a local business then you must have a physical address for your store shop or your business so select yes and click next now it is going to ask you for the address if you are from different country then it will show you that country name i am in india so it's showing me india so i'm going to enter my business local address here city and pin code if you are from other countries then zip code also select the state and once you fill up the address click next now it is going to ask you to locate your uh, business on the local map so i'm going to adjust the map here all right so i have uh, just adjusted the map so click next Do you also serve the customer outside this location? Now, if you have a business uh, that can serve nearby areas in different uh, uh, zip code or other pin codes, then you can select yes. And I also serve them outside my location. And if your shop is not serving outside your location, then select no. So I'm now as I'm doing it online, so I'll select yes. Now it is ask it is going to ask me for the states and the other search areas. So I am just going to enter and click next. So whatever uh, address uh, you are going to serve, you can enter the address and click next. If you want to add multiple addresses or multiple zip codes, then you can also enter multiple zip codes. Now it is going to ask me for the phone number. So you can enter your phone number this is just for the verification purpose and you can also enter your website address here the url of your website so i'm going to enter my website here and i am going to select this one and click next all right so it is going to verify my phone number so i am going to ask them to use text All right, so I have just entered the code and verify. All right, so you are now verified. The account dash 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 is now authorized to manage this business. Click next. All right, now if you will be asked to enter the business hours. So I am just going to select open. All right, so you can repeat this one. Repeat the same. Now I'm just doing this as a demo purpose, so I'll just select two days only. You can select whatever days you want. Okay, and then you can select Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. I'm just going to skip it and click next. Let customer message uh, your business on Google for free. Okay, accept messages. Yes, click next. Now here you need to enter some details of your the short description about your business so i'm just going to add some text here you can enter the description of the business and then click next okay now here is the option to add photos of your business so you can add photos 
of your local business if you are doing uh, this for local businesses then you can ask them to give you the business uh, the shop photos and the office photos so you can add the photos here so i'm not going to add it now so i'll just skip it now remember you can do all these settings later also okay they are giving me credit so i'm just going to skip it because i'm not going to this is just a demo so i'm just going to skip it your business profile is almost complete ready click continue okay get started okay so this is how it's going to look now if, if you skipped any of the pro profile information then you can come here and uh, update the information also create post add photos create ad if you want to add create ad you can create ad also okay now this is how the ad will look okay now you can ask your customers to send reviews to your website now your business is verified listing may be reviewed by for quality and can take up to three days to be published so it is going to google is going to verify your business and once your business qualified then it will be published okay so this is how it's going to work now what happens in some countries they are going to send a verification code on a local address on a physical address uh, by post so you will need to wait for that uh, verification code and once you get the verification by physical address on your physical address then you can go ahead and verify your business now in my case they verified my business using my phone number only so uh, as of now this business is listed and it's ready to be published within two or three days okay so this is how you you can set up google my business for local use uh, local businesses now if you are going to manage the google my business account of uh, your client then they will need to add you as a user they they can create a google my business account and go to users and ask them to add your google address as a Okay, add user you can click on add user enter ask them to enter your email address google email address and choose a role as manager okay ask them to add your email address as a manager for their google my business account okay and ask them to invite you this is how you can manage uh, your clients google my business account now if you have google my business account set up for your business or your client's business remember the four main steps of local seo the first one is google my business account setup the second one citation on as many local business directories as possible third one get as many google reviews as possible from your clients or customers fourth one share your business on social media now you can also use local seo tools such as moz local bright local white spark sem brush local seo you will find link to these tools on my website and the link to my website is in the description box in the next video, we will discuss about marketing strategy for your website design business, how to find local business for website design and start your own business. So see you in the next video. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel to get more quick tips about online softwares and tools. If you have any questions, please leave us message in comments section and press the like button if you like the video. Thanks for watching quick tips.